Boxing King Media, powered by the Riyadh season, Arnold Barbosa Jr. How are you doing, brother? First time in Saudi Arabia? Man, my first time. It's, it's great out here, man. I love it. Yeah. Anything that stood out for you from arriving here uh, a few days ago? Oh, man, uh, the boulevard. Uh, I, I went already. I went yesterday, and uh, we did like a whole walk. You know, I walked everything, and it's amazing, man. You, you, it's, it's, it's crazy out here. You know, I, I love it. You know, I hope to come out and fight here again. Good stuff. And I was watching the press conference that they did in LA a few months ago uh, in the build-up to this fight. You brought some smoke to that. You was like, you, you was the first guy to like start bringing it. You was talking about ex-promoters and how this fight wasn't getting made, etc. Do you want to kind of elaborate on that? Just give fans an idea, you know, what you what you meant. Uh yeah, you know, it was just a lot of frustration, you know, from from the past. You know, um, you know, we we uh, me and him been from the, the same promoter for a lot of years. You know, for about eight years. Um, so it was just a lot of frustration. I never got the fight with them. Um, you know, we had the same manager. I felt like that kind of, you know, came into play on it, you know. But um, like I said what I said already, um, now the fight's here. You know, I'm excited. You know, I know he's excited and uh, it's going to be a great night. How good is Jose Ramirez uh, as a fighter, do you think? And how much do you think he's still got left? Because on paper, you know, I mean, he's, he's only got that one loss. So um, what do you think he's bringing on the table on Saturday? I think I think uh, Jose Ramirez is... is um, other than me, I think he's a he's a best 140 pounder. You know, I think he uh, he's very strong. He's he, you know mentally, physically. Um, I think he's a heck of a fighter, man. I've had nothing but respect for him for a lot of years, and I'm excited for this fight. How do you see this fight in Vision? When we see two Mexicans, everyone's expecting war. Are we getting war? War. Trust me. Like his style, and my style. Like there's no there's no way you know that this fight goes other than war. You know. So and plus all the fights that I mean is in, it's kind of like. You know, you're going to be in a war. So, um, yeah, I want the the fans out here in, in, in Riyadh to, to expect that. Okay. Uh, there's obviously a lot of talk of the winner going on to fight Jack Cattrall. Uh, you want to watch his recent win against Regis Proge. What, what did you make of that? I think I think Cattrall is a tremendous fighter, man. I think he's uh, he's really good. Um, I don't think he gets the credit, you know, like he deserves. But um, but hey, look, you know, uh, one fight at a time. You know, if if you know this fight, you know, go passing the Jose Ramirez, it will be, we'll love to fight him. Uh, I want to ask you about a couple of other British fighters. I had the same weight category. Dalton Smith. Have you seen much of him? Um, yeah, I seen. I seen when he fought Cepeda. Um, I guess uh, Chon's a, a buddy of mine. So I seen. We, uh, really good. Really good. Uh, lefty, I believe. Um, yeah, he's he's really good, uh, man. And, and he has a good, he has a really good future. Okay. There's another kid as well, Adam Azim. He's I think 13 or no. Have you heard heard of him? I've heard. I've, I've heard of him. I haven't seen a fight, but I have heard of him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, well, as British fans, we want to see these fights because obviously we've got all the top, top super lightweights in the US and hopefully in the UK we can get you guys fighting each other, etc. So um, I just want to quickly ask you about your tattoos. Um, first time I met you, there must be some crazy stories behind some of these tattoos. Which is the one that's most precious to you? Oh man, the one that's most precious to me. I mean, these are all Aztec tattoos, you know, Quetzalcoatl, you know, uh, Lepotli, you know, God of War. Um, but the, the one that's most important to me, are, of course, my daughter's on my neck and then my, my grandpa on the back of my back you know those are the ones that are more important to me um i hope to get more you know i need more so yeah, good stuff man um that's it really we've got a message for your fans and just the people of saudi arabia what they can expect from uh, arnold barboza oh man um to message to my fans you know um tune in november 16th you know um let's ride again um for all the fans out here in saudi i uh, hope to make you guys fans um i hope you guys like what you're gonna see from me so you guys can bring me back out here again